The Housing Partnership was created in 1987. Uh, really was one of the first agencies in the country created primarily to forge public-private partnerships and that's what we've done throughout our history is to try to take the public sector and the private sector and combine them into uh, the production of affordable housing and the fulfillment of our mission. First and foremost they, they provide a, 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 a housing for people that are in great need of housing. Neighborhood stabilization is not just bricks and mortar. I mean, it's 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 people, it's families, it's it's keeping people in their homes who are facing foreclosure, trying to to stabilize neighborhoods from a variety of perspectives. They have the ability, because of, it is a public-private organization, to take on projects of this magnitude again, like Box Elder and Willard Arms, when others would have to walk away. Willard Arms was a pretty challenging project because. We had to do it in a couple of phases. Um, it was a total gut renovation. And we had to keep some residents in the building while we were going to do the entire uh, construction uh, project. Willard Arms was very important uh, because it, it is a building that was built in the mid-70s. Uh, it was very distressed, but it was surrounded by a stable neighborhood. It was important for the housing partnership to step in because nobody else would. We, we, had, to do, you know, we had to do something uh, to not only preserve the housing, which is important, but to also uh, protect the residents of the building and protect the neighborhood at large. When I first moved here, there was a lot of street activity that went on around. They used to call this place New Jack City from the movie, where a, a bunch of guys, some drug dealers, took over an apartment building. And at one point, it didn't get that bad, but it was going lost that line. When the, when the pager would go off and you hear 1797, it's like, oh, okay, we know where we're going. It'd be hard for me without going back and checking the records to tell you exactly how often it was, but at least weekly. Not a welcoming living environment, right? It didn't have a real safe and secure feeling to it. I've been maintenance here for quite some years, and I would always talk to corporate about my duties and what I was supposed to do um, in case of certain incidents because I was kind of fearful. You can't show fear. If you show fear as a maintenance, then you run over all the time and I was not showing fear, but I was being real cautious about some of my actions. It was drug infested. It was prostitution. And uh, when we first came here, it was so bad that you was afraid to bring a family member over. When we took over management of Willard Arms, the fourth floor had actually been taken control of by uh, gangs. When we first entered the property, they would not allow us access to the fourth floor. You had elderly and disabled individuals there. You had uh, individuals who, who just didn't have the financial wherewithal to be able to make a change trapped in that environment. And it was important to us to, to affect change there. Ever since the new management took over, they, they took drastic measures of, of what they could do to clean it up. It's a lot better now. I feel comfortable walking past people. You could not walk past people at one time without turning around to make sure they was continuing to go where they were supposed to go. They finally sent us notices and told us they were get ready to start renovations. I was pretty pretty thrilled about it. I, I couldn't wait till they got started. I think it's been like seven months they've been doing the renovations on the other side and I've just been waiting patiently till it's time to go. We decided to have a monthly meeting with the tenants. We did it on site, we did it after work. I think that that communication was really important because there were some inconveniences that the residents experienced and it was important for them to be informed and feel a part of the process. For us as a company um, to ensure that our residents know that we value their input and their judgment and we want to make the best living environment for them. During a couple of the, the meetings they actually was talking about some of the changes that, that were going to take place. From what I've seen just walking down the hallway itself it's, it's, it looks like you're in a totally different building altogether. It's like nothing is the same. Everything's totally brand new. I've been having sole custody of my son for since he was a baby just about. And for us to, to move it to a new place, I would say that would give us a, a fresh start. 
I guess, on life, making things better for the both of us. There's a, a smell to a new apartment, new paint, new carpet, new cabinets. And I would venture to say a lot of them had never smelled before. Right? It's just a new experience in every single way. I'm still ecstatic, to be totally honest. I, I, it's unbelievable. I, I've never got to experience this of my own. So this, this is a big experience for me. In the old units, they, they have it set up to where they control the heat in there, they, and they do it by season. So now in the new apartments, we'll be able to keep that control to ourselves. I had no screens at all in my old apartment. Now I, I, I have my screens back, so I feel comfortable opening up my windows now. Kitchen area, as you can see, the kitchen is, is very small. It's not really with much cabinet space. And as far as in the new apartments, they've actually made more room and actually added more cabinet space. So that, that's a, a big plus. In the old units, we didn't have dishwashers. Our new units, we, we now have dishwashers. So that, that's definitely going to be a big plus as well. Even though the building is the same bones, the structure is the same, it's really like a new experience for these people. And it's really cool to see people that have really spent a lot of time there be able to experience something like this that's so exciting and fresh and new for them um, and kind of a new start for them in a lot of ways. The fact that, that HPI put the building into the 21st century, the end result has been a much safer building. It seems like everybody is getting along a little bit better. Everybody's happy with what with, with they have. So I think it's going to work out. You feel safe now, we're lit up well. Everybody in this complex is more like a small family. We all kind of look out for each other. It's safe, sanitary, decent, affordable housing. It's housing that, uh, that they can live in, that they can afford, that uh, they had good management. Uh, their issues are, are, from that perspective, are taken care of in a timely fashion. They're not treated differently because they need affordable housing or they live in affordable housing. They have the right and they get the benefit of receiving the same services that anybody else would get in renting an apartment. And that's very important uh, to us as an agency that, that, we, that we take that into consideration, we provide that service level to our residents. Um, you know, everybody deserves a safe place to call home. The way the community was falling apart at one point, and uh, I think these, these, the new management wanted to make things better for the residents of Willard Arms. So I, I, I commend them for putting their foot down and doing what they need to do to make that happen for us. I commend them. To help our neighbor and to help our community is important for all of us, I think, um, to give back. And that can be service, that can be monetary, that can be however you're comfortable giving back. But I think it's important that all of us give back. But when I came up in here to see my unit for the first time, I am 57 years old, but I got as jubilated as a six-year-old kid, the excitement of it, the joy of that. I would like to thank HPI for the wonderful job in the new apartment that they gave us. It's really lovely, I love it. Thank you.